Yeah, the software engineers or data engineers, if we use Python as programming language, we have to deal with multiple versions of Python because we'll be developing multiple applications using different versions of Python. Already I have walked you through the details about how to set up latest version of Python. The link to the video will be provided in the description. First, let me validate that Python version. Then I'll get into the details about installing the second version of Python. I'll be installing Python 3.11, which is very popular as of today. First, let me launch PowerShell and let me say Python. You can see the Python CLI is launched with Python 3.13.1. One is minor version, don't worry too much about the minor version. I am more interested about Python 3.13 here. Now let me exit from here. Let me exit from here. Let's get into the details related to how to set up Python 3.11. For that first we need to launch the browser let me launch chrome and then let me go to python.org here if you go to the downloads you should be able to see the previous versions of python here you can see here active python releases python version 3.14 pre-release is already there then you have others but these are bug fixes these are not the ones which we should be using you have to scroll down further here you can see there is something called as python 3.11.11 i want to download and install this let me click on download here and if you look at this it is saying this version is a security bug fix release for the legacy 3.11 series python 3.13 is now the latest feature release series of python 3 get the latest release of 3.13.x here if you scroll down there are files but there are no msis or exes Without exe or msi, it is tricky to set up python using these files. If you scroll up, you can see the message here. It is saying python 3.11 isn't receiving regular bug fixes anymore and binary installers are no longer provided for it. Python 3.11.9 was the last full bug fix release of python 3.11 with binary installers. So we have to go to python 3.11.9 in case if you wanted to set up python 3.11 in this windows or mac. Uh, here I am going to demonstrate using Windows. The same is applicable even for Mac. Now let's click on back here. Here we have to go to python 3.11.9. Let me scroll down for python 3.11.9. You can see here. Now let me click on download. Let me scroll down. You can see installers here. In this case we are supposed to install 64-bit version. Hence we have to click on this. Let me click on this. It will download the 64-bit uh, Python 3.11.9. It is already downloaded. Let's click on this and then let's double click on this to set up Python 3.11.9 on this Windows. Here we just have to click on install now. It will take care of installing Python 3.11.9. Let's wait until the setup is successful. Then we'll take it forward. Now you can see the setup was successful. We can click on close. Uh, we can close this and also we can close the browser. Now we can launch python 3.11 by saying python 3.11. Let me click on this. You can see it is launched without any issues. However, we are supposed to launch using PowerShell also. Now if I use PowerShell and if I say python, it will launch uh, using python 3.13. Let me say python and hit enter. You can see the Python CLI is launched with Python 3.13. Let me exit from here. Let me also exit. In case if you wanted to launch Python 3.11, you can't use Python anymore. You have to tweak a little bit and you should be able to say Python 3.11 and you should be able to launch Python 3.11 CLI. First, let me exit from the PowerShell. Now we have to go to File Explorer. Then we have to go to our home directory. For that you can say this PC, then C, then users. Then this one in my case, ITVST is the user using which I have logged in. To go to the home directory of ITVST, I just have to double click on ITVST. Here you should be able to see app data. It is a hidden item. If you don't see app data here, you have to go to view, then click on show, then select hidden items. Then you should be able to see app data in your home directory. You have to double click on app data, then double click on local, then programs, then python. You can see two versions of python here. This is python 3.11, this is python 3.13. Now you have to go to python 3.11, then you have to rename this to python 3.11. You can actually click on show more options 
and then click on rename then you can say python 311 now let me hit enter now this file is renamed as python 311 on top of renaming this we also need to update environment variable path we have to add one more uh, uh, path to environment variable path for that we should be able to click on this then copy then we can go to environment variables in the recent apps if you don't see environment variables in recent apps you just have to search for it then you can click on it then you have to click on environment variables then you have to select path under system variables click on edit then click on new then paste then hit enter now the environment variable path is updated with this new path we should be able to click on ok then click on ok then click on ok let's make sure we launch powershell then say python 3.11 you can see python 3.11 cli is launched without any issues now let's exit from here let's say python when you say python it have launched using python 3.13 this is how you should be able to have second version of python it is not just about installing second version of python it is also important for you to configure in such a way where you can use that python using powershell or dos prompt on windows for that you have to update environment variable path with new path but before that you have to rename the python.exe file in python 3.11 folder within our app data local programs python the exe file can be renamed uh, to the name of your choice in my case i have renamed it to python 3.11 because i might end up having other versions of python as well that being said let me recap the steps i have followed to set up both the versions of python first i have set up python 3.13 version then i have added the path of python installed to environment variable called as python in system then i have validated to see if i am able to launch python cli using python 3.13 or not then i have installed python 3.11.9 once python 3.11.9 is installed i have gone to the folder where python 3.11.9 is installed i have renamed python.exe to python 311.exe after that i picked the path i have added to the path environment variable then i am able to launch python 3.11.9 cli using python 311 command this is how you can have multiple versions of python on windows without any challenges as a software engineer or data engineer if your primary programming language is python it is very very important for you to set up multiple versions of python like this before i wrap up let me also explain why i have to rename python with respect to python 3.11 to python 311 and also why i have to update path environment variable first let me go to environment variables here let me click on environment variables let me double click on path these are the paths which are added to path environment variable when it comes to path it have special purpose when we issue any command using powershell what windows operating system will do is it will search in all these paths if it find python in this folder it will use that python and it will run if it find here it will run from there now we have python under this one that's why it is launching python cli with python 3.13 when we set up python 3.11 even that one have python now if you wanted to launch python 3.11 using some command it cannot be python because python is already here uh, if we say python even after installing this it will pick python only from here and we can't keep the same name here we have to rename it that's why we renamed the exe file to python 3.11 and then we started issuing python 3.11 to launch python cli with python 3.11 that is why we have renamed the python in python 3.11 to python 3.11 keep this in mind also make sure you understand the importance of environment variable called as path we specify the folders into which the operating system should search for specific command when we issue that command using powershell that being said i hope you not only understand how to set up python 3.11 but also configure in such a way python 3.11 cli is launched using powershell it is very very important for you to take care of this that being said if you like this video make sure to like if you have any feedback make sure to use comment section 
also in case if you want to see content on specific areas to improve your productivity feel free to leave it on comments even if you want to see some content around python feel free to comment we will try to create more content around python also don't forget to look at the description uh, we'll be having links to quite a few playlists which will boost your productivity one of them will be related to vs code which will be quite useful for python developers in case if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet make sure to subscribe and hit on bell icon so that you are notified whenever we upload content like this to our channel